Hello students, welcome to the lecture on news release and after this lecture we will be able to learn the following objectives. Discuss the purpose of news release in media relation, define the press release, explain the basic types of announcement releases. Let's start with a brief introduction. A news release also known as a B-roll or fake news is a carefully edited and packaged form of public service announcement provided to local media outlets for broadcasting. In theory, the contents of a news release are not to be confused with authentic news footage, but in reality, a number of outlets do not issue a disclaimer concerning the source of the video news release VNR footage. This practice has become very controversial in recent years, since the producers of many video news release packages also include some form of payment for airtime. A typical video news release is produced much like an authentic news story with a professional interviewer or anchor, expert guest, graphics, charts and even man on the street sound bites and testimonials. However, the interviewer in a video news release may be a professional actor or the expert may work for the company producing the video news release or the manufacturer of the product itself. Even if a video news release only utilizes unaffiliated experts or objective reporters, the fact that a specific corporation or agency pays to have the VNR produced often creates a concern over objectivity. Let us now discuss the purpose of news release in media relations. A continuing responsibility is to provide timely, accurate and factual information to residents, businesses and visitors. In order to meet that responsibility, the city must work in partnership with the news media to ensure that the city communicates effectively with media representatives. The following procedures shall be followed and adhered to by all city staff, boards, commissions and committees. Print and broadcast a media spokesperson designated spokespersons. The city manager, assistant city managers, department directors, public information manager, fire or police public information officers or designated departmental representatives such as on-duty watch commander may handle routine requests from the media that are within the area of expertise. All other employees should refer the reporter to the department director, public information manager or designated department representative. Potential controversial issues. The city manager, assistant city managers and department directors may address questions from the media on sensitive issues relating to their area of expertise, including topics that may affect city policy and or matters that may ultimately result in council action. Release of information, approval. News releases shall be prepared and routed to the public information manager for review before they are released to the media. Exception, fire and police responses to emergencies in the community may be reported directly to the media by designated department spokesperson with the approval of the fire or police chief or their designee. Format, all city representatives shall use standard news release stationery and follow city news release format to distribute information to the media. City Council Notification News releases containing controversial or sensitive materials and or matters relating to public safety shall be distributed to the mayor and members of the City Council prior to release to the media if practical. Staff Notification all information written or spoken released to the media by a member of the city staff will be immediately communicated via email to the city manager, appropriate department head and public information manager. Release of reports. Reports prepared by city staff for submission to the city council shall not be shared with the media or the general public until the agenda packets have been delivered to the city council. Guidelines. Litigation. Personal election issues. Due to legal and privacy concerns, any request for information related to litigation, personal or election issues must be handled by the appropriate department. Personal points of view. City staff, members and members of boards, committees and commissions have a right to their personal points of view and the freedom to express their opinions. Any staff member that identifies themselves as an employee must clearly indicate that set opinions do not represent those of the city but are the employee's personal opinions. General or routine media requests. 
routine media requests may be handled by any employee if the information provided is of a factual, incidental or inconsequential nature such as confirming a meeting time or providing scheduling, location or other routine information about a city event or activity. City initiated media contacts information distribution. Proactive media contacts should be made by the public information manager or the police and fire public information officers. Errors in reporting. Reporting errors should be brought to the attention of the public information manager. The public information manager in conjunction with the city manager or the appropriate department head will determine if the reporter should be contacted about the error. Let us now discuss about press release. Press releases are one of the main vehicles used by a communication office to inform the world about scientific advances. Naturally, the results themselves should make a press release, but a few simple guidelines can help to make the release a success. Although the main target group for press releases is the press, press releases do reach further. Press releases communicate important information to decision makers, other mediators and scientists and even to the public. It is critically important always to tailor the style, level and content of a press release to suit the needs of the press and not the secondary target groups mentioned. The main goals of press releases, as with other types of public science communication, the press release has to fulfill three main goals. To increase awareness of science and the scientific work process, to increase awareness of the organization, to increase awareness of specific scientific projects, instruments or missions. Press release. The press release is one of the most frequently used instruments in public relations. With it, you can announce something that will happen soon, inform the media about the successful completion of a program, promote results and surveys, or notify the public about the new aspects of an ongoing event. The secret of good press release is for it to contain information worth publishing, what is known amongst journalists as news. This means that when writing a press release, you must write a well-structured text according to journalistic standards, thus taking into account the public interest and the necessity to be accurate, precise, simple and clear. All this needs to be achieved in a tight time frame that fits the rhythm of journalistic work, and always on time. The press release should be brief, up to 30 lines and no more than one page. Often it is better if the press release is even shorter than this. If you want to send additional information to the media, do it as an annex to the press release. Before you start writing the press release, ask yourself the following questions. What is the purpose of the press release? Who are you talking to and writing for? What are your key messages? What will you get and what will your target audience get from the press release? The next step is to think like a journalist and write a story that fits the known six questions. Who, what, when, where, why and how. Who, the subject of the story the organisation or institution, individual event or activity. What? News that the media needs to know about. When? When the event would happen or when it has happened. Date, day of week and specific times. Where? Be specific about the location. Why? Why is this story or the event important? The reason must be convincing. How? how the event has happened, or how the programme would be implemented. The first part, or the head of the press release, is the most important part of the text, and it represents the top of the inverted pyramid in news writing. Therefore, put the most important at the top. The second part is called the body of the press release. These passages are used to describe the event more precisely, to explain and to present in more detail what you have said in the head paragraph. The third part of the press release contains the context or background information. There are several reasons for using an inverted pyramid structure when writing a press release. Here we will mention three. If the editor or the journalist don't find the press release interesting while reading the first three or four lines, they won't use it. 
News editors cut news from the end. If you have put the main information at the beginning of the press release, your message will be conveyed in the media in a clear and understandable way, because most of the important facts were conveyed first. Readers do not always read an entire story. Therefore, it is best to get them interested from the very beginning with your content. Convey the information you want to reach the public quickly and precisely. Basic types of press releases. Press releases are often lumped together as one single tool in public relation PR, writing or publicity. However, there are many different types of press releases, all with their own rules, formats and other subtle differences in how they convey a message to members of the media. There are six types of press releases. These are general news releases. General press releases are what most people think of when they think of press releases. A general press release simply includes news that needs to be disseminated to members of the media in the hopes of media coverage and exposure. Launch releases. Launch press releases tend to follow the format of a general news release but with a more specific function. Launch releases have to carry an extra air or urgency or timeliness to generate buzz around the launch of a company, organization or initiative of some kind. Product press releases. Product press releases can sometimes carry a slightly different format than general press releases because they will often include specs for the product. Executive or staff announcement. Companies often send press releases when there are staff changes, especially in high levels of management. The primary difference with staff announcement as opposed to general news releases is that more of the release can be biographical as supporting information to justify the staff change and introduce the new staff member. These will also often include at least one photo. Expert positioning press releases. These press releases are often less urgent than more general news releases. They may revolve around a report issued by the company by offering statistics and results, or they may involve news from a third-party organization with quotes or other supporting information from the issuing company or individual. Event press releases. Event press releases are often formatted differently than a general news release because they need to very clearly lay out the who, what, when, where and what, often in a list or outline form rather than laid out in paragraphs. Components of a press release. Although there are many appropriate forms of a press releases, there are basic parts of all press releases that should appear to see. The following is detailed information about what fragments should appear in press release. Release time. This is not where we put what time it is when we wrote press release. This is where we put the date and time after which a press release may be released. Headline or title, this fragment is pretty self-explanatory. Be sure to make the headline attention grabbing, yet honest and descriptive to content. Summary, the summary is traditionally where we put a summary of the press release for the news editor to read. It is often now used as a teaser for readers as well. Dateline. This is a part where we put the date and location from which our releases was distributed. This is often the lead into the main body of the press release when it is published. Main body. This is a part of the press release where we actually give the news. Go with a direct approach, answering right away all of the possible questions a reader may have such as how, what, who, when, when and where. Follow that up with the supporting evidence, witness, accounts and quotes. Boilerplate. This is a paragraph where we give information about the topic of the press release. We can include background information about the main company, individual or group written about in the press release. Sales pitch. This is a one sentence attempt to close a sale or call the reader to the desired action and a sentence with brief media contact information for media relations person. Contact information. This is where we give the full contact information for media relations person. Closing. This is just where we put at the center of the page to tell the news editor that this is the end of the press release. Writing a newsworthy press release. Writing a press release is often a good idea for many business situations. However, if press release is not newsworthy, it is a waste of time to write it. If the topic of press release is not innately newsworthy, we need to find a newsworthy spin to put on it. If we make press release something that a newspaper editor feels will be informative or entertaining to readers, the editor will usually print it. Press release format. 
Content quality is certainly an essential part of promotional writing, but when it comes to news releases, using the appropriate styles and layout is just as important. In order for online press releases to be viewed as credible sources of information about developments at company, it is essential to create them using the proper press release format, which is different from at news release format. News criteria. Assess whether the story fulfills one or more of the following news criteria. Timing. The story is news. The event has just taken place. Relevant. An issue that has direct or near direct influence on people's lives such as fatalities and material damage. Proximity. The story has local appeal or local interest happening in the town or the country. Implications. A result that has profound consequences. Conflict settles a controversial debate or a much debated topic that contains intrigues. Human interest. For instance, astronomer discovers new galaxies while raising three children and teaching women's self-defense class in her spare time. Mystery. A mysterious phenomenon, quirky details, an unexpected result or a chance discovery. Major science represents a major discovery of a new phenomenon or class of object or an incremental gain in knowledge about a principal field of research. New interesting angle, twisting an old result in a new way, such as a new, better image that confirms a known result. A record, first, largest, most distance, fastest, oldest. In business, if your company is growing quickly, it's easy to forget to tell the world and the press about the great things you're doing. But if you want to win more business in the future, you'll need to make sure you shout about your achievements and your news from the rooftops. Sending a press release is a good way to keep people informed about your company's activities. It's something you can also put together yourself with a bit of expert advice. There's no point publicising something that happened a few months ago. You need to talk about what's happening now or what's about to happen. This might be the launch of a new product or a new client you've just won. A catchy or creative headline can help you do just that. Also make sure any quotes you use capture the speaker's personality. You don't want to bore your reader. Assume that no one will read your entire press release. Think of it as an inverted pyramid and get the important stuff across first. The first paragraph should announce your news. The second one should talk about your company's business. And the third should include a relevant quote from you, a client or a supplier. Resist the urge to embellish though, it's a bit on the dishonest side. Don't say you offer a service if you don't offer it, you could damage your reputation. When you're reading your own work, it's almost impossible to spot any mistakes that you've made. Getting someone else to proof it for you will help you catch any pesky spelling mistakes or wrong facts. Think about who your potential audience is and then you tailor what you're writing to suit them. The local papers are only going to be interested in local news and the trade press will only be interested in the actual industry that they cover. Keep press releases to just one page. Waffling on for pages and pages will make people lose interest in what you're saying. An email makes it easy for a journalist to take quotes from your press release and insert them directly into an article or story. Now your press release is ready to go, you need to target the right people. You might want to contact a PR professional in your area to get advice on who to send it out to. You don't want to pique a journalist's interest only to have them searching around to find out who to call for more information. Basic types of announcement releases. These are five basic types of announcement releases. Personal announcement, News stories about people are the simplest and most common type of news release. These stories find ready outlets in people in the news columns of trade and business publication and local newspapers. Use news releases to announce hirings, promotion in rank, transfers, elections to professional offices, involvements in civic activities and retirements. Event announcements. Organization conduct meetings, seminars, clinics, health screenings, concerts exhibitions, rallies, and many other activities as part of their routine operations. Events taking place in a community represent legitimate news. Use news releases to encourage public participation as well as to create awareness of the organization and its mission. 
product announcement. Manufacturers and retailers routinely issue news releases to announce new products and services. Although highly commercial in nature, product announcement about new products and services provide valuable material to editors and readers of many trade publications, hobby and special interest consumer, magazines and product related websites and blogs. Product information is also of interest to syndicated columnists assigned to particular business or consumer product topics and to editors of the soft sections of newspapers, food, fashion, travel, automotive and entertainment. Awards and Honours Announcement Awards received and awards presented routinely generate positive media exposure. Awards received by a client organization are an implicit or explicit recommendation from a third party organization. Awards best owned by an organization on others' customers, distributors, sales staffs, employees, members, students can be used to underscore values important to the organization, service ingenuity, hard work, scholarship, etc. and position the presenting organization as a leader in the field. News Media Limitation a newsroom, whether print or electronic, is an information factory producing and packaging editorial content for consumer. Workers in the factory, editors and reporters process and publish content with an eye to consumer interest and or accuracy and fairness to gain and keep readers, listeners or viewers. They define news or what is included in reporting and the order and presentation of stories they are gatekeepers and filters of information at both fact-gathering and editing levels. News workers are limited by information resources they have and news holes. A typical newsroom is buried in information, but it might not be the right complete or appropriate information. Moreover, surplus information often has nowhere to go, even with the internet serving as a news outlet, because it is too costly to wait for accuracy and publish. News workers also are bounded by assignments. A reporter writing shots for a business page from press releases and wire copy has a different job than an investigative reporter trying to prove a mayor took illegal campaign contributions. Attitudes. One reporter might be biased and another not. Education and understanding. One reporter might understand a complex explanation of a product or political situation and another not. Editorial concern. A reporter might want to report a story in which an editor has no interest. I really enjoy educating people about what I do. Now, most people already know that public relations professionals write press releases. But one lesson I find myself frequently giving is explaining to people when a press release should or maybe shouldn't be written. The purpose of a press release is very simple. It's to get an organization's name or their product and service into the news media. That is all. If you have a piece of information that you want to share that's not new or relevant in some way to people outside of your organization, it's very likely a journalist is not going to want to cover it. And if a journalist is not going to want to cover it, then it's pointless to write the press release in the first place. If you have some questions about whether or not a piece of information you want to share is newsworthy, my best advice is to ask your PR department or your PR firm. They will be familiar with the news media and the journalists in your industry and they'll be able to give you an opinion on whether or not that piece of information would be considered newsworthy and usable. Now if you aren't able to convey the information through a press release but it might be relevant to another group of your publics or your constituencies, your PR department or PR firm would also be able to make a recommendation on using it in another way. For example, posting it on the company's website or using it in a company's newsletter or on social media networks. The bottom line really is to determine who would care about that information and then figure out the best way to reach them. Getting messages out. Individuals and organizations that want to be heard through traditional news media content with a newsroom's information flood and reporters' limitations. The difficulty is that most do not know or care to understand how and why the media work the way they do. If clients' facts are not compelling, their stories are lost in the information flow and they wonder why. Moreover, they do not realize that they compete for coverage in a win-loss environment. If they get into the news, someone else does not. This creates competition for a reporter's attention and a role for someone who knows the media and can deal effectively with them, such as a PR practitioner. On the other hand, if individuals or organizations have compelling news, it may be published whether or not they wish to communicate in. 
So they use persons who know how to work with the media to manage the story. A practitioner may strategize how best to present the story to gain a positive result if the news is good and to mitigate negatives if the news is bad. The practitioner gathers facts, set up interviews, provides graphics and visuals, gains access for reporters to key people and access to the reporters before and after news is published. The PR practitioners provide two services in media relations, knowledge of the news process to help a client tell a story and knowledge of the client to help the reporter express the story. The practitioner is an intermediary who tries to satisfy both sides, although this is not always possible. Practitioners remember who pays them, and as a result, they can be irritating barriers to reporters when practitioners are not permitted to speak for an organization or individual. Now, in the end, let us summarize what we have learned in this lecture. A video news release allows news producers to will up and hour of broadcast time without the need to hire additional camera operators or local reporters. Speeches are a specific type of event that can be especially useful because the speaker usually articulates key messages important to an organization or cause in legitimate news setting that is often held under the auspicious of an outside organization. Press releases are one of the main vehicles used by a communication office to inform the world about scientific advances. Press releases are often lumped together as one single tool in PR writing or publicity. Organizations conduct meetings, seminars, clinics, health screenings, concerts, exhibitions, rallies and many other activities as part of their routine operations. 